If you don't know, the number one e-commerce plugin for WordPress is WooCommerce, which by the way is free. When you first install WooCommerce on your WordPress website, there is no payment gateway pre-activated. So you need to install and activate at least one payment gateway in order to make sales. There are two popular payment gateways you can use. PayPal and Stripe. Today in this follow-up video, I'll be showing you how to integrate Stripe with your WooCommerce website. My name is Nick, and I am on the team at WPGoPro.com. We assist you with improving your WordPress skills so you can make more money for yourself, your clients, and your business. If you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Also, give the video a thumbs up so Google knows it was helpful to you. Let's get started with the video now. The first thing is that I am using the techpassiveincome.com website, which is hosted on SiteGround. SiteGround offers the very best customer support, uptime, security, and speeds. They offer very affordable plans as well. I will leave the link below if you want to join them. In the plugin section, you see the WooCommerce plugin is already installed and activated. Let's go to its settings and check the payment gateways. You see, there is no gateway installed and activated. So if we go to our live website and try to buy something, we won't be able to pay for that. I am here on the shop page, and I am going to purchase the 4 hours training service. So the service is in my cart and I proceed to checkout. As you see, WooCommerce provides a message saying, there are no available payment methods. So let's go back to the dashboard to install the Stripe plugin. Click Add New. Then search for Stripe. It's the first one on the left column. Click to install and then activate. OK, now let's go back to the WooCommerce settings. Click on Payments. Click on the Stripe's Setup button. At this stage, I am going to use my existing Stripe account. However, in your case, if you don't already have a Stripe account, you must create one first. So, I click on Enter Account Keys. This window shows two different tabs. The first is for the live environment and the second is for the testing environment. OK, now it's time to go to the Stripe dashboard. Let's start by switching to the test mode. Now I click to go to the developers tab. I choose API keys from the left column. We need to copy two things from here. The first is the publishable key and the second is the secret key. So click on Publishable Key and copy it to the clipboard. Go back to WordPress and paste the key into the Test Publishable Key field. Now it's time to do the same with the Secret Key. Click here to reveal the Secret Key. I copied it to the clipboard and then I am going to paste it into the Test Secret Key field. OK, done. Now, we have to get the Test Web Hook Secret. In order to do that, I go to Stripe and I click on Webhooks. In this section, I have to create the Webhook Endpoint. In order to do that, we have to go back to WordPress and copy the Webhook Endpoint from the Stripe plugin. As you see, it is provided here in this section, so I copied it to the clipboard. Back to Stripe, I click on Add Endpoint. Paste into the Endpoint URL. Now, Click to select the events this endpoint listens to. Click on Charge and select All Charge Events. Then click Add Events. Finally, click on Add Endpoint. We have successfully created the test endpoint, and we need to get the test webhook secret. So, click here to reveal the code and copy it to the clipboard. Go back to WordPress and paste it into the Test Webhook Secret field. OK, now click to save the test keys. At this stage, we have completed everything about the test environment, but we need to follow the same steps for our live environment. So, click again on Edit Account Keys. In this window, switch to the live environment. Time to go to Stripe's dashboard to get the live publishable key. Click on API Keys. Switch to the live environment. Copy the key. 
Go to WordPress and paste it into the Live Publishable key. Go back to Stripe's dashboard to get the Live Secret key. Click to reveal the key and then copy it to the clipboard. Paste it into the Live Secret key field. Now we need to create the Webhook secret. So, go back to Stripe's dashboard and click on Webhooks. Back to WordPress to copy the Webhook endpoint. Back to Stripe's dashboard. Click on Add Endpoint. Paste into the Endpoint URL field. Now, click to select the events this endpoint listens to. Click on Charge and select All Charge Events. Then click Add Events. Finally, click on Add Endpoint. Alright, we have successfully created the live endpoint. Now, click here to reveal the code and copy it to the clipboard. Go back to WordPress and paste it into the Live Webhook Secret field. OK, now click Save Live Keys. At this stage, I am going to enable the Stripe payment method, and it's already in test mode. As you see, everything looks fine, and the green fonts indicate we are successfully connected to Stripe. So, let's click on Save Changes, and then make a test purchase to check the transaction. I go to the shop page on the website and I purchase the one-week coaching service. I am going to the cart and I click proceed to checkout. While I am typing the billing details, you see that now we are able to use the testing credit card number provided by Stripe. So I am typing the credit card details and placing the order. The order is now complete. Back to Stripe's dashboard to check the transaction. Switch to Test Mode. Click on Payments. As you see, the $900 transaction was successfully recorded. And that concludes this tutorial. I hope you found this video useful as I showed you how to integrate Stripe with your WooCommerce website. If you liked this video and you don't want to miss my weekly videos related to WordPress and business online, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Also, leave your comments below. My name is Nick, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have fun with it till next time, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and health.